talked about this a little bit off camera. There have been tons of upsets, some incredible Cinderella stories so far. Which ones stand out to you the most? Colombia. I mean, Colombia beats Germany and Linda Caicedo, 18 year old, that whole story around her beating ovarian cancer at such a young age and playing for Real Madrid, 18 years old, coming up big for our country, almost the star for Colombia, period. That for me is, is, that takes the cake. And there's been some incredible stories in this World Cup. Jamaica is another mm -hmm. Cinderella story. But I, I just love what this Colombia team is doing for not only the country, but South America and for women. It's just incredible. Yeah, I mean, that goal too was, that's gonna be the goal of the tournament. By far. Right? By like, far. I feel like that's the moment that people are, are going to remember from, from this. When we're watching footage from this World Cup, it's gonna be that Linda Caicedo yeah. goal. And I mean, it's, it, it's become iconic already, Mike. Yeah, I think in the resilience that the team showed also, you know, they have a little bit of everything. I think there were finalists in the, uh, in the Copa America not long ago and coming into the tournament, not great odds to get out of the group, not great odds to, to really make that much noise, but they've done fantastic. She, a lot of build up to, to watch Casado play and she was, she's delivered, you know. I know you said she had a poor first half, but that goal, I mean, that goal is as good as it gets. You know, yeah. you know how quickly she splits those two players. Like, every touch was so efficient on that, on that finish. And then, again, I'll mention again, Ramirez running the channels. Like, there was, there's so many good pieces in that team. Um, the resilience, they're playing against a very good German side who hasn't lost forever. Germany ties the game with basically not much time left. And then Colombia continued to play. They're not, like, bunkering down. It takes a lot of bravery and courage to continue to play against Germany mm -hmm. where they need the points and then go on and get the win from a set piece uh, just for me, yeah, they are the story, and they're a team that I can't wait to watch going into the knockout, knockout stages. What I love about that play in particular, at least that goal, that highlight, is all those dusty people that are like, oh, I don't watch women's soccer because the, the quality isn't as good. Watch that. Watch that play. Watch that goal and tell me that same thing again. Well, what was that? One video? Did you see that one video? I, I, I mean, I reposted it, but it was a video of the French national team. Yeah, where yeah. they score and all these goals. And then CGI, it switches, to, yeah. and the CGI switches it, and it's actually the... The women's team, I remember watching the first thing, thinking it's the men's team, and going, whoa, these are some awesome plays. And then it switches, and it's actually the women's team. Yeah. And how many people watched that and thought, oh, the women can't do this? I right. mean, and I, I thought that was incredible. I would just say, look at Tanaka's goal today against Spain. The Japanese Ooh. substitute comes in, cooks the on the right goal, right? side. That was the last goal. goal, yeah. And bends it upper 90 yeah. with the left. Oh, I'm like, that's, that's top class. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So much quality. Um,